Oh, hey. Come on in, everyone. Oh, hey, guys. I was just about to get ready. You guys want to come in? Let's go. How's your off season been? What was your break like? Mm, it was really good. I think I took some time to reflect on the split, of course, spent time with my family, went on my honeymoon, and just tried to learn as much as I could what, we, what it will take for summer for us to do better and what can I do better for the next split. I just make sure to not play the game too much. I, I still played sometimes, you know, a few games, uh, a few games a week when I was bored. In the off-season, actually, I couldn't, like, really take vacations and <laughs> that is the... That is the reality because, uh, as I said, when you have such a, like a strong pain in your chest, is you, you cannot just disconnect fully and, and say, oh, okay, it's fine, I'm going to have fun. I, I, was, I was all the time thinking, how can we reverse this situation? How, we, how can we make it better? Obviously, what I got is a few days just to think. So today is the first day of our preparation for the summer split. So it's really exciting because I haven't seen the, the team in a long time. So I'm just getting ready uh, to prepare for the first meeting of the summer split. You know, it's important to look good, feel good. We're going to be talking about all the adjustments that we're making to make sure that we win the summer split. But first, I gotta wash my face. So I think at the end of the split we've had a little bit um, exhausted probably because we have been going really hard. So. I think everyone's refreshed and it's super exciting to get back to work and do better this bit. After we lost, I was like very angry and very sad at the same time because I played really bad. I was angry at myself just because I had very high expectations towards like myself and I think I could bring my team to victory but I couldn't. It was more, I guess, sad that we didn't like manage to be competitive and managed to beat them. I mean, I know that Spring Split is only, what only matters in Spring Split is getting number one, right? So you have to beat every team. It was not like we missed out on Worlds or, or something like this. So it was just, yeah, I mean, sad that we couldn't be the best team. So today is a special day because of course it's the first day at the office, but I will start it like every day because I think it's important to have a little bit of a routine. So I like to take a shower. Usually first I leave it warm and then to shock the system a little bit, I turn it cold. Uh, at the end to really wake me up. As a part of my routine, I like to prepare my face for the, the hardships of the day. It's important that you have the right products for the occasion and I'm using the Hydro Energetic L'Oreal Men Expert Moisturizer. You're gonna feel less fatigued, more energetic. Finds the dark circles, I suffer from those. I'm not really like rushing to get back in shape. I'm trying to still give it some time, try to relax and not uh, not like over exhaust myself from the, the the split hasn't hasn't even started. Yeah, summer split is usually the one that matters way more than spring because you go to worlds from that. Everyone should be more motivated, I think, to go to worlds. So I think yeah, it's gonna be just better than than before. I'm just trying to um, learn from other teams and uh, apply it into my gameplay rather than exploring my own playstyle right now in solo queue where it's uh, it's not very high level either. So. This is band area because he goes there to eat the cat food and we lock him into the thing. He can't, can't, he can't jump up on the box, is that why the he box? He can sometimes, but it's <laughs> hard for him. Oh my god. So my daily routine usually consists of making breakfast for me and my wife. <laughs> um, it can be a little bit different in the season if I'm in a rush sometimes I can miss out on making breakfast so I do it in the office. What helps usually is to watch some league for me because it starts to get me thinking again about what I want to do on the day. Maybe I get inspired watching like really good players play. Some eggs, some bread, nothing too fancy. I don't know, I, I like to use butter to make it. I, maybe I should switch to something more healthy. Part of my routine is just to drink my tea. I like to do a lot of other stuff. I do my stretches. I need to make sure that I spend some time in the sun. And then afterwards, I just head off to work. Nothing complicated with that, nothing extravagant. I like to keep it simple. I like to be close to nature. The simple act of being in the sun and making sure that you drink some water, drink some tea, do your stretches, make sure that you come alive the right way after being in bed for so long, which 
course, it's a very important part of my routine, the sleeping part. As long as I sleep long, wake up right, everything goes right. In the main season is that I'm more strict about my sleeping times, I guess, because of course I have a job and I need to be there at a certain point, so I can't sleep as much as I want to and I also need to make sure I don't go to bed too early, uh, too late. <laughs> Because, of course, you don't want to be tired, you want to be fresh, you want to be there to perform and you want to be on time. I'm just a different person if I don't have enough sleep, I think, so it's really important I take care of that. I think he wants an eggs. For me as a player, it's really important to bring that consistent, good gameplay to the games, because I think you want to be reliable, you want to be, like, let's say, a professional, so I think the baseline of your performance should always be at a good level and being consistent also in your day with when you sleep, what you eat, how you like practice, when you practice is also something that can really help bring that that sense of confidence because you, you're doing it on a daily basis and you know that you're doing the right steps to feel prepared for the games on the weekend and try to split that. Even in the off season, I maintain a very similar routine because, uh, in my mind, you know, the perfect start to anything. You know, imagine you start a race, you start a game, you need to be in the right state of mind, both in your head and also the body needs to feel right. And I just make sure that uh, all of those elements uh, feel good as I begin. And that's important in the season and in the off season too, uh, because uh, in the end, uh, it also helps me enjoy life more. I love how you have like a cat hair roll up. It's super nice. It's a part of every morning for me as well. If I have time and I don't have to instantly leave to the offices also to play some solo queue here because it's something you can always do if you want to get warmed up on more champions or you want to just get that repetition in. Basically whenever I can I like to play as much as possible when it's in season so I feel prepared to yeah, do my best. So the last thing I like to do before I leave the house is to use the Hydro Energetic Eye Roller because I know my eyes will have to watch 14 hours of League of Legends today and there will be a lot of int and a lot of box so I want to be as prepared as possible so yeah I feel good now, let's go! I'm just uh, excited to, to get back at track and just uh, um, give it my, my best to perform and see where we go but it's mostly you don't need any more bureau. This is what sells. Hey guys. Welcome back. Thank you. How are you doing, man? What do you do? You're looking fresh, man. What's up with everyone coming in looking fresh? We need to paint the sun. That's true. Hello, Hello. How are you doing, man? Pull in my eyes. I don't see so well. Hey guys. Come here, man. Yeah, like a Gucci pants. Gucci pants? Yeah, Gucci pants are my hands. Hey, Leo. Fun sleep. Good. Hi. Actually, yesterday I came to you. Hello. Hey. Hello. Let me hop around, man. Hey, man. Hello, bro. How you doing? Hey. There's no space, there's no space. How you doing, man? Good to see you. Hello, what's up, dude? Okay. What's this? I don't know. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey, hey what's up? I need to work. Every night Hello. 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 Hey. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey. What's up, boy? Hey. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hello, boy. Okay, let's begin. Oh, it's actually heavy. Let's put it on our desk. It's good. Not at all. Look how you dance. Honestly, I did. It's probably out, the bed outside. For now, it's hidden. It's good. Well, welcome back, everyone. Here we are again, all together. Because of pandemic, because of changing the office in the middle of the split, because of having to move from apartments, because of personal uh, situations or whatever. It is the first time actually uh, this year that we are all together as we are right now here and that is like quite significant. Uh, leading our in-game Jacob as our head coach as always but I am also 
really, really, really happy to welcome in, in this room uh, Kevin, who has been with us for a long time already and he, every time that we have had him it's, it's been amazing and, and we have he has had su such of a positive impact so we have the addition of an, uh, Jaime Sens which is our new performance coach taking over uh, Fab's position uh, and bringing a wider like view to how we are going to uh, approach uh, that performance area. Well, hello guys, uh, my name is Sens. I come from Spain, from Movistar Riders, in case you know that club. This is just a proof of the things uh, I achieved there in Movistar Riders. I'm really proud of it, like I'm, I don't hide it, you know. Uh, obviously, it's not everything is not like uh, winning, okay. Uh, the green ones, for example, are second places. So I know a lot about winning and I, lo I, and I know a lot about losing. And that's something, probably my biggest learning from this experience is that Holy shit, I love winning and um, way more than I hate losing. Like, losing sucks, but like, winning is fucking amazing to me. My intention here with you boys is just to give you tools, give you knowledge, and obviously I will go with you on all those topics, right? But my intention is that you know how to control yourself, that you have the tools to, whenever you want to uh, change your performance, whenever you want to change something, you know how to. I'm here to help you, I'm here to win, and I'm here to enjoy my time, okay? Thank you. Well, Sens seems like very motivated and seems to have like a lot of experience with uh, like players type of people like us. So he's doing quite well and he's been a really good addition to the team so far. And I've been enjoying working with him. He has skills that he can attribute to the players and he can help with how they interact with one another and how uh, they are playing the game from the point of view of, of, of their human side. And this part is so important. You know, it's such a mean betterment to wins, but it extends even all the way to the tip top of, of competition. To me, joining a team like Fanatic is, is, a, is a huge challenge, you know? It's like uh, when you start working and when you're passionate about your work, uh, you love competition, you want to work with the best, out of the best, you want to be there, basically, you know? Like uh, you want to compete for the big trophies, you want to compete uh, with uh, the best players, you want to compete for greatness, Fanatic represents all of this, right? So it's a big challenge to me, uh, but I love them. I love challenge, you know? So uh, <laughs> that's why I'm here also. I guess like for preparation, he's introducing like the Wim Hof method, like the Iceman who walks, who climbs like everything in, in minus degrees and like only his shorts, right? So uh, we are getting his breathing technique in and done uh, pretty much daily. Actually, after doing it for like five minutes, it just makes me feel like I'm, you know, I'm flying high in the clouds. So yeah, uh, it actually feels a lot different than any other like meditation stuff that I, or meditation or breathing techniques that I ever did. So yeah, I think it's pretty useful. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Okay, hey boys, join me on Discord. I just uh, two two more things. Okay, let's get started, boys. No one passed out, right? It made me <laughs> fuck this like a motherfucker. Boys, since it's the first day, we already. I don't want to be late on streams, okay? So we are going to do streams usually after... Sorry, we can find it. After we we will do always a small exercises of activation, okay? If anyone feels dizzy, you can walk up around, drink water, and that's all, okay? Yeah, being prepared is uh, sense actually coach motto or something. He really wants to be prepared and I think it's very important to as a team to be prepared, even as an individual, to be like confident going to, to stage and knowing that uh, you have done your like, homework. Being prepared mentally and physically is just crucial. You cannot really expect to get better at something just by thinking or just by copying behaviors that other people do. You have to like go really deep on 
why that is working for that guy, you know, and maybe it doesn't work for you in the same way, you know, so being prepared for every single day is basically crucial. Without that, you cannot go to the upper level, basically. The main point is to just start off with a fresh start, to just like not continue what we were doing in spring. Now it's just a, you know, different split, different everything. So we just start off fresh and we still like have no idea what's good in the meta. So that's what we are trying to figure out right now. The biggest change will be the change in schedule. The main thing that changes is basically this part. From one onwards, it basically remains the same, but we will have one extra hour before kind of the, the, the scrims and the food and everything else starts. It looks like it's more, but I, or all of us agree that it will 100% save you time over the course of the split, because there will be no more random, you know, last minute things as, as they have been over the last three splits. So the main changes we wanted to focus is, as I was saying before, feeling more as a team. And for that, we needed to be all like spending more time together. The other thing was more internally about how we approach our day to day to be more structured. And with that, uh, that it's connected to the point before we were what we are going to do in summer is put more resources around the players. Of course, it's nice to have like a bit more of a schedule, not like an extreme one, but a schedule that you know that you don't like, I guess, waste time. Yeah, I'm excited to see how, how it will change things for us. Spending more time together can definitely be an upside. <laughs> It's very important that characteristics that make up a teammate, this is something that needs to be valued and it needs to be appreciated. Every person, every player comes with um, their own strengths and their own weaknesses. I believe self-awareness, leadership and resilience are three very strong pillars to actively work on because I think these are skills that you can train. And I wanted to make sure that the players are aware that uh, these are topics that are going to come up and these are topics that um, we are going to cover also in scrims. Our top ten is so sad. Me, it's my No, it's the super as well. Django, not so much. He looks like the Mona Lisa. He's <laughs> fine. <laughs> I've never seen him smile at me. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Good stuff. Is it like hats? No. What if the loser that in ping pong has to wear this hat for a whole day? I can't wear it. I can't wear it. I can't yeah. Yeah. Which one? I don't see. Yeah. This is you guys. You look gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, let's continue. Yeah. Where you are in your development in terms of maturity, in terms of uh, you know, might be some basic game ideas. Someone knows something better. Some someone knows something else a little bit worse. And as a group, if we combine that, we will be as strong as we possibly can. Finding joy and the beauty of helping others will, in essence, also help you. If you try to make people around you stronger, it will in essence help you. Not only in scrims do we train individual skills, like we, we are reviewing micro and so forth and whatever, these are individual skills, but there's a lot of other things that can be, uh, you know, helped and also strengthened 
I want us to be open-minded when it comes to these attributes because we have a lot of experience in this room. To begin, uh, now, we're going to do our activation with, uh, with sense. If someone wants to take a break, welcome to do so, but I don't want to see any phones in the practice area. Yeah? Uh, this is uh, uh, something that I insist on and there's going to be no compromise on this, okay? So yeah. please uh, put your phone up there, yeah? <laughs> I think Yamato always has a very similar sentiment. I think it more depends on what we do as a, as a group. I think it's super important what he says. And I think the difference between us coming third and us coming first this summer will be our effort to learn as a group and to um, invest into each other. You will see if we did it or not at the end of the split, I would say. <laughs> what uh, I found in uh, my reflection is uh, our biggest issue, of course, last split was how uh, we perceive practice and how we utilize practice. I think it goes hand in hand with what Sens mentioned in terms of the percentages gained. Uh, they were rather slim. I'm very excited to be back in track and start playing some more league and see how my teammates are doing and what they've been up to and just see if we're gonna end together scrims and stuff like it's always like an experience because when we, there is break there usually people take some time off from league and uh, it's very interesting to see how we perform against other teams. I think in general we have shown that in official games we have, we have been a really strong even if we didn't reach the final goal that we wanted but we have been very consistent through the split in, in official games but the reality is that we have not been that consistent in practice and I think it, that has had at the end, uh, an effect uh, and a consequence in our in how we played the last stage of our competition. I think what in the energy you bring into the scrims is often also the energy you will get out of the scrims. So if you come into the day not well prepared and you feel sloppy and you feel not focused, you the games will probably look sloppy, unfocused, and you will probably lose a lot of games. Or even if you win them, it will probably more be because the opponent wasn't on the A game. Usually like if people are asleep for the first two, then yeah, you waste two games and then you know the fifth game is usually just a fighting fest because everyone is tired already, so that's already like one last game and then you have then you would only have like two games. Everyone coming in with the right mindset and feeling prepared starting the day off of the right, right foot because it also snowballs of course if you lose the first two games it can impact the next games depending on how frustrating the games were for some people or for myself of course. Starting the day well is key. Okay, good uh, guys, for the first game I don't uh, demand anything specific, just uh, make sure to be mindful of what your solo queue habits are and try to shy away from them. And let's try to think about uh, uh, the, the timers of Rift Herald and, uh, and, and, and Dragon vs. Always. Okay, okay. He's not flash, okay? Uh, I don't need to TP out, what's up? You can't get anything. Oh, oh, oh. I find you, Harry? Chasers, guys, I will take the gate, okay? Keep chasing. Nice. No flash, I heard. No flash, I heard. I think just hit Nexus, no? Nexus, Nexus. Nexus? Oh, and then, very good, very good. Please, very good. Please, come on. Please, man, please, man. Come on. The reality right now we are, is that we are the third best team of the LEC and we are behind Rogue and D2. By far, I think it's clear that you guys are the most talented ones, but I think we need to be more of a team in order to to make that talent shine and be able to to interact with each other in the best way. I think this split it was said that we we're gonna do like a lot more stuff together like go outside do some stuff outside and go to like team dance and stuff like that. I think we didn't really do that much last split so I think that's one change that I see. Do you think it's a positive impact though? Yeah for sure. I like when my team pays on my dinner so uh, I really enjoy that. <laughs> oh, that's a really big mistake if you're going to be jumping. Oh, it's... We got yelled at by children. <laughs> Someone was jumping. And they're like, hey, stand in line. Oh, Jesus, they're like this small. Eagle this big. <laughs> Oh, oh.
How was your jump park experience? My jump park experience? Didn't really jump much. But I liked it because everyone else was having fun. Actually, I'm, I'm cute though. How do you follow the That's good. Wow. Looking fresh? No, imagine Boomer being so fucking sexy. Oh shit, man. Everyone sit on the stairs. Two meters feet. Two meter feet. No. Two, meter feet. <laughs> two <laughs> feet. Two feet. No. Two feet. I have two foot, yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is like Thor's hammer. Only if you're worthy, you can take it out. Wait, there's the egg. Can I take it out? I'm not gonna do it. Down. It's empty. Oh. It's empty. Today was your first day mm -hmm. with the team. Mm -hmm. In amongst it, getting to know them. Had a little bit of an initiation. So, how's your your day been so far? And what are your first impressions of the boys? I'm really excited to start the split because I, I could already feel in their had the impression during the meeting, you know, during the first meetings that they actually want to uh, give me a chance to try my things. And I don't know, that's a challenge for me, you know. And I'm really happy. What can I say? Everything is going fantastic. Coming back and seeing everyone again is like, of course, uh, nice, right? We are in this together, and we kind of want to well, do better than uh, last split. So we all have like this, there's like this presence, you know, that we, uh, we have to do things better. I felt really good the uh, first few days now being back because I think I put a lot of effort into caring for how I feel and yeah, just how my body feels, let's say. Uh, so I feel a lot better. It was such a nice feeling, not only because of being together, that obviously it was like that, it's just because of the restrictions that we had in the spring split, we didn't have the chance to be that much together as we were that day. Already you could feel that there was a different atmosphere, a different change, and it was mainly uh, not just because people came from vacations, disconnection or whatever, and they can reset, it's also because we were setting up a new structure. Everyone is making it so easy for me, you know, like I've been always in my city, I've never moved from that, you know, uh, obviously I travel, you know, but I have never lived somewhere else. There's a lot of things changing, right? And then you go to a new club, which, like I said, is a challenging opportunity too, you know? So you just want to make everything perfect, no? And you have this kind of anxiety before, right? Uh, but to be honest, like everyone is making my life so easy here, you know, and also you, eh? <laughs> By the way, like it's, it's true, like I really say, I, I really feel it, right? And with the players, it's really nice to see that there's no like a big ego or like a reactive position towards me, towards like new methods because I'm bringing new stuff. But overall, like everyone is, they are understanding why they have to do it and they are committed to it, you know. And I don't know, it's like, it's like kind of a dream, you know. I find, found this place kind of like home. They're all like nice guys, right? So I don't mind uh, spending my day to day with them, you know, playing scrims, doing whatever. So. Uh, it's 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 good. It's good. Okay. Summer split. Summer split. Summer split. 